Hello and welcome to your forecast for Wednesday morning for Scotland from the Met Office. Plenty of sunshine out there as we begin the day and it will warm up nicely, although the cloud will build as the morning goes on, but many places staying dry. One exception, the far west, where thicker cloud will roll in by the afternoon and a few splashes of rain, mainly for the Outer Hebrides, but we could see the odd shower for the west of the mainland and the rest of the Western Isles, and perhaps the odd shower developing as temperatures rise further east. 22 or 23 degrees, just a degree up or so on Tuesday's max temps, but plenty of fine weather, plenty of warm sunshine on Wednesday afternoon. A fair amount of it across uh, southern areas through the central belt as well for the commute home. And for Aberdeenshire, just some cloud building and you wouldn't rule out a shower, but for most it will stay dry. You'll notice there's some thicker cloud there for parts of Caithness and Sutherland, just pushing into Orkney perhaps by the end of the afternoon. And that cloud associated with uh, a few outbreaks of rain. But uh, for the majority, it will be a fine end to Wednesday. That is ahead of these weather fronts. Now, these weather fronts are approaching from the west as we end Wednesday and go into Thursday, but they become very slow moving. They run into essentially this area of high pressure. And as they do, they redirect the airflow and a southerly airflow will bring in heat and humidity from the south. Not the kind of heat that we'll see in the southeast of England, but we will see hotter temperatures developing fairly widely by Thursday afternoon. Plenty of sunshine again, those weather fronts staying largely at bay during daylight hours. And for most, it's a sunny end to the afternoon. But at temperatures 24, 25, perhaps even 26, somewhere like the Moray Firth. So a uh, fine end to Thursday, but increasingly warm, if not hot in places. So, Sun, of course, is strong at this time of year, so it's worth covering up if you're spending time outdoors. And you can find much more information on the Met Office website, and you can keep up to date with all the developments through the Met Office app and via our social media channels. Bye-bye.